Hey friends, welcome or welcome back to my channel. Welcome to a reading vlog. I feel like I haven't done a reading vlog in forever for many reasons, <laughs> many, many reasons of which actually you, you will now be aware because you will have seen my very exciting announcement video, <laughs> which will be live before this video. And that's basically the reason why I've not been reading as much or uploading as much or just being present on social media in general as much because I've just been so stressed getting everything I needed to get organized for my visa and then getting everything approved and oh my gosh it was such a stressful and exciting time and obviously I'm still stressed and excited because now I actually have to facilitate the move which is just a whole new level of stress but yeah I'm hoping that I will now have more headspace to be able to put into things like YouTube because I was just kind of like one track mind just like get getting the visa but now I can also say that that's why I haven't been doing book hauls this year because obviously I can't take hundreds of books with me when I move like I'm gonna have to take them over like in staggered amounts whenever I come back to visit or whenever people come out to visit me I'm just gonna get them to bring a few from my huge TBR pile and you know obviously I'll have some that I read when I come back as well so that's just been kind of why I've been focusing so much on trying to read through my existing TBR and unhauling books that I'm not going to read again because I don't want to be having to figure out how to get books across to the states that I'm not interested in reading anymore but I have started reading one of my least anticipated books off my TBR and I actually started it last weekend and predictably it's taking forever to get through because it was one of my least anticipated reads. So I'm literally only like not even halfway through and that's Kingdom of Copper. But I will say I'm enjoying it more than I thought I would do. So it's very much like politically driven and I think that's one of the reasons why I'm moving through it so slowly because it's just not like a particularly fast paced book. But also I've just not had that much time to read this week because I've been having to like pick up my visa and I've had a lot of visa related activities this week. So I thought I would sit down this weekend and do a little bit of a reading vlog, try and get through the rest of this and then maybe see if I can get through the rest of this, start another book as well. And just yeah work my way through my TBR still I still have a couple of weeks in the UK before I move so I'm just going to focus as much as I can on reading what I have and filming content for you guys so there isn't a gap hopefully in my uploads between me leaving the UK and me arriving in the States I will of course be going to Barnes & Noble as soon as I arrive my first weekend I actually already have it planned out in my head as a treat to myself and as a well done for getting my visa and moving I am gonna go to Barnes and Noble and do a little book shopping day so I'm really really excited for that and that is kind of like fueling me right now so you will see that and obviously I think I mentioned in my announcement video that I am gonna do some moving vlogs and also just some general lifestyle -y vlogs about settling in Miami because I want to be able to look back on this time in a few years time and see the journey that I went on. I love looking back over my old vlogs on my old channel because it just reminds me of like times past with friends and things I used to do and like living in London and all of those things. It's just nice to look back on and have. So I'm 100% going to do the same thing with this move and obviously if lifestyle content isn't your bag like that's fine. You know the book videos are still going to be coming just as frequently as well like it's not my channel's not going to change. I'm not going to become a lifestyle channel. I will always be a book channel but I will just have a playlist of Miami probably like Miami Diaries. I just have a playlist and you guys can um, watch those videos as well. I don't know how often I'll be uploading those, but I will obviously still be uploading my book videos weekly. So that's fine, that's not gonna change. Um, but yeah, anyway, I have so much content that I want to film. I have a couple of sit down videos that I'm gonna film this weekend. I'm gonna film this vlog today. I wanna read as much of Kingdom as Co of Copper as I can today. And then I'm gonna go into some romances I think next because I want to speed through as many of those books as I can so I don't have as many books to take out with me but anyway I'm rambling let's just let's just get reading let's just do it Hey friends it's a couple of hours later and I'm actually officially at the halfway point which I'm really really pleased about 
and I am kind of enjoying this. I know I was so disappointed by the first book, like so disappointed by it. So I'm really glad that I'm having like a positive experience of this one. I actually gave the first book, like my copy of it to my friend um, this week because she's big into fantasy books. And obviously I'm like downsizing my entire book collection, um, which makes now the unhaul, unhauling makes sense as well. This is why I've been unhauling everything. Um, so I gave her the first one, I'm going to give her this one when I finish it too. And hopefully she will like it as much as me. We always buddy read things together. I actually, for her birthday, did her a version of a book box, like a Lucy book box. So I bought myself the same book and I said we could buddy read it together. So I got her the absolute book by Elizabeth Knox, which I'm really excited to read soon. And I did her like a little annotation supplies and I got her this little dragon friend for when she's reading and filled it full of like tea and cute things. I also gave her a bag of my secondhand books. So City of Brass was in it. I'm going to give her Kingdom of Copper. I also gave her Jade City and I have Jade War up here as well, which was my other option. I was either going to read this, Jade War or Battle Royale. I got my mum to pick which one because I just couldn't decide and I was in a slump. So yeah, I'm excited to see what she thinks of these and then we can like have a little FaceTime when I'm in America and talk about it all. Anyway, I'm gonna sit for a little bit and watch some YouTube. I'm currently watching Becca and the Books uh, mid-year book freak out tag, which I was going to film, but I just haven't had a chance to and it feels a bit late now. So I'm not gonna film that. So yeah, that's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna watch that and I'm actually, I rooted out an old colouring book recently because I'm just like quite stressed. So I need to like zen my brain out. So I'm gonna watch Becca and the Books and colour I think for a little bit and then get back to reading later i also need to finish clearing out bits of my room i'm just like throwing away a ton of clothes and figuring out what i'm packing and i will do probably a packing video i'm definitely going to do it on tiktok because i like watching these kind of things on tiktok so i'm hoping people are like watching me do it on tiktok but yeah just like going through literally all of my possessions it's very intimidating but like it's fine hi friends it is considerably later on this afternoon now i'm having like the ultimate cozy day and i am living for it the weather outside is absolutely disgusting so i have just basically not left my bedroom all day and it has been beautiful and i have been reading i am now so much further through i'm on page 385 according to goodreads 61 percent of the way into this and i'm actually really starting to enjoy it the action's picked up i'm liking the fact that it's very heavily like political when i read adult fantasy books one of the things i love the most is the politics system and the world building and I feel like I'm really getting into that in this instalment and it's actually making me want to pick up the third book and I just have a feeling this is going to end on a cliffhanger and I have a feeling I'm going to be going to Waterstones and buying Empire of Gold so <laughs> I guess I'm eating my words because I thought the series was not for me and it turns out it very much is so I am I'm glad I'm really glad about that so yeah my plans basically for the rest of today are to try and finish this book and then i think i'm maybe going to read like a romance or a fantasy romance next i think with the weather being so gross and me just want to be me just wanting to be like all cozy it's definitely putting me in a fantasy mood so i love that for me because i haven't been in a fantasy mood for ages and i'm just i'm feeling it and part of me feels like i should read jade legacy but i just because I know I have a limited time with my TBR pile, I just want to try and get through as many of the books as I can. So I think I'm going to focus on like quicker, shorter reads between now and moving. And then when I come back, because I'm going to be back in the UK for like all of December, I can definitely get some progress made with that pile of fantasy books. But anyway, I'm going to go shower, wash my hair, get into some like extra cozy loungewear, and then try and finish this bad boy. And I am so excited. Good morning friends, happy Sunday. I have just made myself a coffee. I stayed up until 1am last night reading, which I have not done in ages. And I'm bringing back the Team Damon Salvatore Starbucks cup. I haven't used this for ages. I don't even know if I've ever featured this in a vlog, but this is honestly one of my like top favorite possessions ever. This will be coming with me when I move. Like there is no universe, no version of the universe that exists without me and this cup joined at the hip. So anyway, I um, read a lot last night. 
I have like a hundred pages of Kingdom of Copper left and I'm just gonna like whiz through them now. I'm so excited to finish this book and find out what happens. I have really, really loved reading it and I'm so glad that I was able to actually like take a reading day yesterday because I haven't really been able to do that very much recently with the move and all of the chaos that's like surrounding the move. I just haven't been able to fully focus on reading. Um, so now obviously I can and also can't because life is very very busy right now but I'm taking my weekends to just try and like have that time and I'm so glad that I did yesterday and oh, I loved this book I'm I haven't even finished it yet and I'm saying I love this book but I do I, I oh, I'm so happy okay guys I have officially finished Kingdom of Copper. I loved it. This was a four stars. I just thoroughly enjoyed it. Like the first half I did struggle to get into and like I said that's just because that was a me problem not a book problem. I just didn't have the time or the energy or the mental space for reading last week so it did take me a while to get through and I did find it quite slow to begin with as well. I think if I'd read like I don't know a romance or something I might have not struggled to read as much but Loved it, loved it. I love the world building. I love the magic. I love the political intrigue. I just, yeah, I really enjoyed it. And now I'm going to have to read Empire of Gold. So I love that. But now I'm going to try and decide what to read next. I was like playing with the idea of reading Boyfriend Material by Alexis Hall the other day. And I feel like that is still calling my name. But I also have Slaying the Vampire Conqueror by Carissa Broadbent to read. Glint by Raven Kennedy, Tomorrow and Tomorrow and Tomorrow by Gabrielle Zevin. I have so many right now that I really want to read, so I don't know which one to reach for. I may reach for none of those and go completely rogue and read something else, but I'm going to try and select my next book and I'm going to chill and read for a little bit longer. And then we're going to go get ice cream, which I'm very excited about the ice cream. I have finally got up and made myself look presentable. I'm gonna go to the pub for some drinks, but I wanted to give you guys a reading update on boyfriend material because I'm currently on page 128 and you guys, I am freaking loving this book. This book is like everything right now. I'm obsessed with the dynamic between Oliver and Luke. I just, I love the setting. I love the premise. I love the banter. I love all the really like not so subtle Britishisms that are in this book. This is just 1010 five star romance material and I just had a feeling that it would be it's actually majorly giving me like red w red white and royal blue vibes so if you guys like that which is one of my all-time favorite romances ever you will most likely like this so I'm gonna go to the pub I'm gonna have a little Aperol spritz moment and I'm gonna come back and delve into this and I am so excited I'm eating this up Hey friends, so it is Monday evening and I have definitely not read as much as I thought I was going to read. This vlog was intended to be just like a weekend reading vlog, but I also kind of want to carry on vlogging at least until I finish boyfriend material and have decided on my next read. So I'm like halfway through boyfriend material now I think and I'm loving it, like some serious five star predictions going on there, like I'm loving loving the dynamic between Luke and Oliver. I'm loving Luke's friends. I'm loving the banter. And I just really love all the like subtle references to British pop culture in this book. Like I feel like if you're not British you may not get as much from it as I'm getting from it because there's like just references to shows and stuff from years ago and yeah it's just I love it I'm really really enjoying it I'm so glad I finally picked it up and I'm really annoyed at like my past self and not picking it up sooner but yeah so I've spent today like connecting with real estate agents in Miami um looking for apartments working and I'm just I'm like kind of overwhelmed by everything right now like I think I'm gonna do like a whole separate series of moving vlogs like I think I've already said um but I just kind of like don't know when to start filming them really like maybe I'll film them towards the end of this week I'm having my leaving party at the weekend and then I really need to like get serious about packing 
because I'm hopefully going to move on the 1st of August, which is like two weeks today. No, two weeks tomorrow. Holy shit, it's two weeks tomorrow. I haven't booked my flights yet, though. I'm waiting on confirmation from stuff from work. So, like, that's kind of annoying. It might end up being, like, the following week. But anyway, that's where we're at. I need to read more. I need to, like, get organised. Um, but I wanted to come on with a little bit of an update. I think I'm going to read for like quite a while now and then I'll probably finish the book tomorrow which is when you'll get a proper update from me because I've been terrible today. Um, I also want to go into Waterstones tomorrow and pick up the last book in the David Bad trilogy but I know that's like a really silly decision because I have so many books here that need reading before I move but also I really want to finish off the David Bad trilogy while I'm in the mood for it so I might do that tomorrow. Um, but anyway, I'm gonna read and sleep and catch you guys in the morning. You guys, it is Tuesday night. It has been a long day and I am quite clearly very tired, but I have a reading update for you. I finished Boyfriend Material and as predicted, it was a 100% five stars. I loved this book so much and if you haven't picked it up and read it already I highly recommend. I feel like I've not heard anyone really talking about this. I don't know if maybe I've come in like too late to the hype because I didn't obviously start booktube until 2020. I don't think this was I think this was released in 2020 so I may have just like missed the train on this one um but if you haven't read it definitely pick it up if you like kind of like rom-com vibes really lovable main characters, really great found family vibes and just amazing like supporting cast of characters, very funny uh, writing with you know lots of references to pop culture and just a relationship that you can really get behind. That's what I loved about it so much, it was so real. So there's a situation in this book as well which happens with one of the main characters and their father and I think I've like hinted a few times on this channel about my daddy issues. But basically I just found that I could like really relate to that which was really nice and I enjoyed the fact that like that situation wasn't just kind of resolved in like the way that these kind of things often are where it's like all happy families and rainbows and sh sunshine and like everybody's fine and everything's like wrapped up in a neat little bow. It was very like realistic with the way that it dealt with the familial relationships and I very much appreciated that like it felt well-rounded and fleshed out and properly developed as did the characters as well they were incredibly vivid there was like no moments where you felt that you didn't really understand a character's motivation or for something or like their action didn't seem believable from what you knew about them so i really liked that and i just i just love them they're like my babies and i want to protect them forever and i love them so much and i love this book so much and i feel like you guys all need to go out and read it but anyway, I am going to end the vlog here and probably start a new one pretty much straight after or like tomorrow. I am definitely going to read Husband Material, which is the follow-up to Boyfriend Material at some point this week because I feel like I can't go without being around Luke and Oliver for a while. But I'm trying to decide what to read next and I really can't decide. I really can't decide. I filmed a video today going through all the books that I need to read before I move. There is one, two, three, four five, six, seven, eight, nine books that I need to try and read in two weeks or maybe three weeks um which isn't going to be easy and I just can't decide which one I'm gonna pick up next so anyway I'm gonna go and have that dilemma with myself I will see you guys in a new vlog very very soon bye